Hi guys! In this video, we are going to take a look at all the Batmobiles in all Batman movies and see their features, abilities, changes and differences. Ok, let's be right to the point and start with the first Batmobile that appeared on the screen. We're going back to Batman the Movie 1966. The first Batmobile was a Ford concept car called the Lincoln Futura. Of course with a little customization and hammering of the body, the already alien looking Futura looked even more futuristic. One thing that really changes this Batmobile into a supercar is the rear rocket thrust, to which all the later Batmobiles adhere and keep as a major symbol of Batmobile. Besides that, the roof console, which holds the bat siren and the very special emergency bat turn is added to the top of the car. Of course about that lever, I think we could have found a better, safer and more accessible place rather than just between their heads. There are gadgets on the body, like the very teeny tiny bat radar on the hood and the emergency stop parachutes on the rear end of the car. The three mufflers, technically positioned in the worst possible place, never let out any gas. The fenders have been reshaped to reveal all the tires rather than just the bottom half. The red stripes on the black color of the car is amazing. Ok, that's not all. As Robin says, the car benefits atomic batteries for power and turbine for speed. There's a car phone shaped like a bat. There's bugging tools in the Batmobile with a monitor to see people and hear them. But wait a minute, uh, shouldn't somebody be carrying that camera around? After all, this Batmobile has the biggest car trunk ever, which contains many more bat gadgets. Ok, that's all for the first Batmobile on the screen. The next Batmobile was made for Batman 1989, directed by Tim Burton. This one was used again in Batman Returns 1992. Unlike the first Batmobile, whose body was just a modification of a Ford car, this Batmobile's body was designed from scratch, cut on foam and made using fiberglass, then put on a Chevrolet Impala's chassis. In addition to the design, digital visual effects have been used to make the image of the armored car. The gas turbine looks more realistic than the first Batmobile, which looked like a simple methane gas flame. But what gadgets and abilities does this Batmobile have? First of all, it has a bulletproof body. It can make very sharp turns to escape enemy by using grapple hooks to pivot round posts on street corners. One of the most amazing things about this car is the radio voice command, by which Batman closes and opens the car shields. The shields were, by the way, made by computer digital visual effects. The very exciting feature of Summon, which seemed impossible in the 80s, also depended on radio voice command. Now, that's what makes Batmobile an idea many years ahead of its technology. But that's not all. This car can get involved in battle directly using two M1919 machine guns, then eject on both sides and give the superhero a wonderful and precise firepower. And finally, not to forget the grenades dropped at close range due to the explosive proof Batmobile. In Batman Returns, the second Tim Burton movie, a very poor demonstration of Batmobile is offered when Batman appears at the plaza to counteract the circus band attack. Batmobile just arrived at the scene to open some metal plates and throw a grapple hook at a clown. Of course, there was a hydraulic jack for in-spot turn and a backfire, which seemed really redundant. In spite of this, this movie brings about the amazing idea of Batmobile turning into the Bat motorcycle, which was used again by Christopher Nolan in Batman The Dark Knight. The Batmobile made for Batman Forever was an update of the previous one. The fabulous body design, with all the lighting, protruding fenders, longer fins and all the cuts has given the Batmobile an alien look. The jet engine has been upgraded now to produce a sharp red fire. Glowing bat signs on the tires seem to be advertising his brand. Look at this, you can see the fiberglass fins swinging. This Batmobile has all the features of the former one, besides the following new ones. The tires can turn in a 90 degrees angle for dodging enemy fire, but that's not the most exciting new item. With a combination of a jet engine under the car, a grapple hook and accelerated backfire of the rear gas turbine. Now Batmobile can climb tall buildings, 
But in the end, a tragedy is awaiting this fabulous Batmobile. Along with Batcave and everything down there, Riddler explodes Batmobile. And you know what? They really exploded it and made another one for the next Batman movie. The next Batmobile was a real beauty. I mean, look at the design, lighting, and even the color is glossy and looks different from all the previous ones. The turbine visible under the transparent hood of a contrasting color. The blue light on the black body. And the six V-shaped jet engines instead of one. They all make a masterpiece in the world of the fantasy cars. Having a Chevy 350 ZZ3 under the hood provides more than necessary horsepower. Well, there is of course one thing about this Batmobile. It doesn't match the usual character of Batman. But no worry, cause this time we see a totally different Batman in character. The reticent, thoughtful and gentle Bruce Wayne has turned into a humorous talkative one in Batman and Robin. Actually, I think Batman and Robin is a movie of excess and redundancy. Too many villains and too many heroes. Too many bat vehicles, too much decor. Anyways, back to the new Batmobile. My personal opinion is that this Batmobile fails to meet the expectations it creates by appearance. There are almost no new features added to the car except for, well, it can ride on colossal figures in Gotham City. And not to forget the emergency eject. Then 2005, a great man, a revolutionary director, a man who can vibrate your hidden strings of joy, gifted our eyes with this beauty. This is the real deal. This is the Batmobile right out of the best imaginative and reasonable mind. This unbelievable machine has logic behind every single functionality. Consider all previous Batmobiles. You ask yourself, why should they be designed like that? All the lighting, cuts, fins, fenders, why should anybody have made those cars like that? But this one is a real war machine. Why did somebody make it? The movie justifies that. To make bridges in the combat fields. But. What is this Batmobile good at? First of all, it's good at jumping. That's what it is made for. All the fins controlled by hydraulic jack and the boost provided by the afterburner give the machine great ability to leap over Gotham roofs. On the highway, we see Batman using the obstacle detection system. Activating weapon system drives Batman into aiming position, giving him the power to shoot explosive rounds. But above all, this Batmobile is unstoppable. The horsepower and six huge tires make it as strong as a tank. You should know that to make Batman Begins, six cars have been made. One of them was a one-third scale radio-controlled model to perform roof jumps, but the other five were full-size models. In the next movie, The Dark Knight, Batmobile shows off by blocking a rocket launched for Harvey Dent. The impact doesn't blow the car into pieces, but it can't move anymore. And that is when the magic happens. From the heart of Batmobile emerges Bat Cycle, and the remnant of the Batmobile explodes due to self-destruction. This Bat Cycle, with those thick tires, machine guns, explosive rounds, grapple hooks, horsepower, an amazing design and size looks formidable. It is fast, strong, and the most amazing of all, both tires can rotate around a 90 degree axis. Apparently Catwoman really enjoys this feature in the third episode of Batman Trilogy. On the other hand, in The Dark Knight Rises, most of the firepower used against Batman is provided by the previously Batmobiles that Bane steals from the clandestine R&D department. These machines are used by Bane's men for scort and patrol. And they have been equipped with cannons, which fire missiles and heavy explosive rounds. That's all for Tumblr. But there is more to Batmobile, 2016. And there is another Batmobile. Batman vs Superman brought about a car fabulous in design, functional as a war machine, which enjoys more than necessary horsepower, which pulls an overturned car as if it's a cardboard box. And look at this! is going right through a brick wall, glass window and a metal container, under a car, some boats and through the body of a wrecked ship. Machine guns, cannons, grapple hooks, jet engine, it has it all. But the most fascinating is the armor. It's totally bulletproof, even against heavy machine gun fire. 
And when it comes to firepower as heavy as a rocket, there is the electromagnetic field that repels the attack. But all that versus Superman? See for yourself. Okay, this is the end of Batman will show off in this movie, but in March 2022 we expect the next Batman movie and the next Batman movie. Well, that looks good. By the way, you want to know about the next Batman movie, the Batman? Just click on the link that appears on the top right corner of the screen. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and push the little bell button, cause my next video is going to be about Batman again and have fun watching movies.